What's good, everyone? It's me, Man Destroyers. I'm back again. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, but this time, coming around, coming at you with the Forza Edition S15 build. Uh, I have like a base tune on it. I literally just built this. I'll show you guys the upgrades and I'll show you the tune. It's very similar to the Mercedes tune. It's like Barry. Uh, okay. Sock SR in it. Arrow, blah, blah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Tire compound, sport. 235s in the front. 275s in the rear. Uh, Drivetrain, that's all race. Platform handling, it's all race. And then you get to the weight. Weight is stock weight. Sitting at 2,800 pounds. And then I'm pretty sure this is all race. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jesus. <clears throat> And a sport turbo. So if you do everything race in a sport turbo, you should be sitting at 649 horse. Not bad. Might be a little much for 275s, but we will see. Thankfully, we can do all this while tuning now. Thank God. Uh, 30, 22. There's the gearing. If you guys know me, you know the gearing by now. Uh, all right, alignment. <coughs> Excuse me. 30007 <clears throat> anti roll bars 30 and 23 573 441 for the springs slammed 9282 for the rebound bump 5955 4080 for the brakes and the diff is at 100 100 all right i just hit start race instead of tune what did i just do No, because I know I'm going to want to like eventually just throw a huge entry there. So let's, uh, you know, let's go back and uh, test drive. Okay then, car feels good, I say that now. Okay, car actually feels really good. I messed that up there at the end. That was me, not the car. <clears throat> See how it feels on the way back. This like bass tune actually kind of really works. <clears throat> I'm gonna save it before I start messing around with anything. Excuse me. Let's see what we can change here. <clears throat> you know what? Let's just do an old something I used to do. 40 in the front. Chili has done it before, and Chili actually said that he's kind of actually liked it, just because it's kind of fun to use. Let's just see. <whistles> Definitely feel the difference on the front end on the wheel. The 
wheel's definitely heavier. Holy shit. Like, it just wants to stay there. Don't know how I like that. At least on this track. I could really go for uh, a clutch pedal right now. And a shifter. Hey, Thrustmaster, hook your boy up, please. <clears throat> Let's give it one more run here with the 40. Really try to focus up. straightens out pretty hard when you get to like when you, when you get to center on the, on transition so let's uh, go ahead and knock that back down to 30 because that does not feel good I mean it does but it doesn't okay um, 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 um. I mean, I don't know really what else I could change because like from this 30, it felt amazing. Watch me go back and not even be able to do it. Jinx myself. I did it. As usual. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I know that these like solo drift build videos are extremely boring. Extremely boring. Ooh. He's turning. He's drifting. He's talking. Believe me. I know. Just, I want to get a little bit more confident in my driving ability, drifting ability on the wheel before I start hopping into lobbies with friends. Give it, give it like next week, I'll probably be doing some, you know, tandem lobbies, whatever. Who knows? I mean, you guys want to see me do do the like story content? I don't know. Entirely on you guys. I just figured everyone wants to see drifting. But on the other side of things, oh shit! Um, a buddy of mine was talking to me last night, and he's like, you know, since since you know you're trying to bring back the channel, and you're view count is kind of low as of recently why don't you just start uploading everything that you play you know destiny whatever else i was like you know what? that's actually a pretty damn good idea see who enjoys what and go from there it'll probably still get you know low amounts of views but if there's a fan base for it you know what i mean it'll it'll start early which is good so come back baby my transitions are extremely slow sometimes. That's my biggest problem with wanting to go online and side with people. Because I know that if I lead, I'm going to like cause the biggest pile up. Or if I'm not in like the back, there'd be a huge pile up because of me.
feel like Suzuka's a track that you don't want to get a lot of angle on. Like, of course you still want angle, but you don't want, like, you don't want to pour it on. It could just be me. I feel like I have, like, I feel like I have more fluid runs when I don't uh, go for big angle. Like that. Because then that happens, and then I get this 50 mile an hour transition. Okay. Let's take a little bit of camber out. I feel like that may be causing part of it. Go down to like a two three. Okay, so well, what we've learned in the past 10, 11 minutes, only thing to change so far is lower the camber from 3.0 to 2.3. No. No. Always right there going in this direction too. Why? Why you do this? Alright, it's time. It's time to see how bad my gearing really is. Tires, where are you at? 50? Okay. Okay. It's just about to get interesting. Yep. Nope. Mm-mm. 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 Okay, let's, uh... Let's pretend that didn't happen. here. I think that flip did something to me. I'm scarred for life. Okay. 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 Should I have gotten tires and try to do this? Possibly. Stupid fucking rumble strip, I kinda had it, it was looking kinda cool. Fucking rumble strip piece of shit. Alright. Well here's how most of my videos end in the grass, on a guardrail, flipped upside down, looking at a wall, something like that. Either ways guys, it's me and Destroyers, I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll see you guys later.